So on my site, I carry these little glass globes that have a hollow top and they have um, they come with a little acorn cap in bronze. And I filled this one up with glass glitter in an orange and a green. And then I'm going to run E6000 around this perimeter. and put that on there and let that dry. Give it about 20 minutes to dry. So while my acorn's drying, I'm going to um, make a couple of oak leaves using my Thinlets um, templates, metal templates that go through roller mills from my site. I mix pastels with inks. Mix these colors and make kind of an olive green. Orange. And come in here with a stem. Punch a hole. And this is one I made earlier. So I have two to pick from. I'm going to use my fluted spacer bead mold so that I can have a flute on these guys. shift it over so it's either in a valley or a hill. Oops. Move it over, bring it down, and I can play with a little tip there. Hold it down while it cools, so I'm going to count 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, and I have got a dog growling off there in the distance. That's beautiful. Love that. Now let's do the other one. I'm going to use this one in the star mold so I can just get a ridge down the center of it. Put it in a little valley there. <coughs> Barking dogs. <coughs> Quiet, honey. Quiet. <coughs> and then I have a nice <coughs> little ridge down the center of my bead. 
So I will be using these on my globe. So I will be ready to attach those when my globe is dry. So next I've gathered some jump rings and I'm going to link these together. Notice how I use pliers that can hold the jump ring broadly. So I've got three on there because I want these to hang at various lengths. Bring this up through the hole. This one, so I put four on this one. Three on this one. Can see where we are. Got three on this one. Three on this one. Four on this one. We're going to attach this one up here. And so we've got this and then I might add one more in between here. There, see how we want to have a little bit of a, a drape. Then we've got our acorn, which I'm going to come down here on the second one. He's still drying just a little bit. Bring that in there. So my pendant would be something like this. And then I have the option of adding a chain. So with something simple like this, to me, a ball chain is a very nice way to go. So let me see where I am with this. Might be easier to, for me to just open the jump ring up a little bit. Slip the ball chain on. And to me, that is just so cute. And really, really simple. Let's get our little ball chain connector open just a wee bit so that it's easy to take off and put on. And 
and the colors are as sweet as can be. The little oak leaves just looks really nice and oak stands for longevity. So there we go.